Hey friends! I am headed back home after spending the week in the mountains of eastern Tennessee. It has been such a wonderful week, but I'm excited to get home because I think there are plenty of packages waiting for me. Oops, sorry about that. Plenty <laughs> of packages of camping gear that I ordered before I left. I'm excited to get home and open that and share with you some of the items that made the gear list for my upcoming camping trip. Um, I also need to revisit my summer bucket list. It dawned on me that one of the activities I did this last week was hiking. I think I'm gonna have to tell the group that the hike is about the journey, not the destination. And hiking was on my bucket list for the summer. I was able to go hiking with my friends and their family. We did two different hikes to two different waterfalls. It was so much fun. The views were absolutely amazing. I really don't know that this camera does this view justice. The first waterfall, I was a little bit disappointed. It didn't meet my expectations. So that's, that's my own fault for having expectations. <laughs> but the second waterfall was more than I expected. I am so happy that we were all able to do that. Some of the folks on the hike got to see a mama bear and three cubs. I missed it, but that's okay. But I will say the picture of the one baby cub is so adorable. But I got to see a bear myself later in the week it came up to our cabin it kept trying to get into our trash which was unfortunate yeah we're still watching you buddy Overall, the views in the mountains are absolutely beautiful. The reason I went on this trip was because my best friend's little sister got married and I captured some beautiful pictures of the sunset on the night of the wedding. Hello friends, I am back home as you can probably see. I'm back home. I have spent some time with Moira, so I think she will allow me some time to unbox the items that came. We'll start with what came in my mailbox. Moira apparently does want to talk to us, which that's okay. All right. I got a coffee grinder. This is pretty big. I think this is bigger than I was picturing. Oh, it's very interesting. 
If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I got not one, but two coffee presses. Um, and one, one was returned, but, <laughs> and if you don't follow me on Instagram, find me there, Katie Rambles Vids. And so yes, to go along with the coffee maker, I got, oh, I got a coffee grinder, which I should probably read about before I ruin. Anywho, coffee grinder. I think I have a few things from REI. More on the way, REI had some amazing sales, but let's dig into this first package from REI because they came in different boxes and whatnot. Uh, I think one thing, I think one of the bags that I have came from REI too. I don't know what's in what, so. REI's Labor Day sale, we're crushing it. So, in here is a Flex Like, Flex Light Camp Dreamer chair. Now, I already had a chair. <laughs> But it was a chair that, for a handful of reasons, I've always had my eyes on another chair. REI sales were such that I decided to give this a try. I will not set it up for you right now. I will find a picture and put it up here. But now I will have this to try out and see if it's worth it. I definitely think that will be more cozy than my other chair. Next I have, I don't know. Oh, okay. So next I have, now this, REI man, <laughs> you got me. I have had my hand on, I have had my eye on this bag for a while and I had no intentions of buying it right now. This is a Gregory duffel bag that comes in its own little pack case. How cute. Now I have, oh, I actually have it down here because I used it for my trip. I have this 42 liter Alpa from Cotopaxi. I also have, I think they're 32. I think it's a 32. I think that's, they now have a 28, 32, and this 42. This 42, which I took for two weeks when I went to the Alps last year. Anyway, the Alps trip two weeks was fast travel, which requires a lot of repacking. So I had my eye on this bag from Gregory which is 40 liters. Uh, oh, look at these major pulls. Come on, take some type of shape that resembles a bag. So I wanted to give this Gregory bag a try because it's all open. So I also use packing cubes, which isn't exactly needed in the Cotopaxi bag, right? It's made so that it's kind of already cubed for you. But in most cases, I'm using something to like hold my socks, hold my dresses, hold my leggings. So I thought, would it be easier when I have to pack every other day, if I was just throwing those cubes into an open space. So that's where this stuff all comes into play because I'm going to Thailand next year. I still have over a year before this trip. I'm going to Thailand for again two weeks and it's another fast travel trip. This also has a little side down here, which everything's separate from. But this bag, I just really liked the look. Also, you can, right, like it's just a straight duffel. You can also attach 
these straps to make it a backpack, which is what I want. Backpack mode is definitely what I look for uh, when I'm taking these types of trips. So that is why, oh, also I have to say like, I was gonna get this bag no matter what for my Thailand trip. REI had it for 48% off in their sale. So while it was not a camping priority, it was like, okay, buy now for 48% off or buy later for likely full price. I do think, I'm very curious in car camping, whether or not I actually like this as what to hold my clothes in. All right. All right. I got a rump ball. I needed some type of blanket. This rumple was on sale. I thought it was so cute. Oh my gosh. That I went ahead and got it. By the way, like on sale is just the theme here. Mm. Well, I'm sure I'm never getting it back in this little sack because I can't even get it out. Come on, my friend. So I thought when I'm thinking like cabin vibes, this front part would be so cute. Is it not? Aw. And then when I thought, when I don't want this like cabin vibe, I appreciate that this other side is just a dark green. Uh, I just love it. Light, light and fun on one side, dark and mysterious on the other. So yay, rumple blanket. I don't know this one. Who are you from? Oh, how boring. <laughs> oh, this one is boring, but necessary, I guess. Freezer packs. I will not be camping with these. I will be getting ice. These are not large enough to keep the little cooler that I got cold um, for long enough, but pre-chilling ear cooler is recommended. So I got these to pre-chill my cooler. This, this one is feeling light. I'm trying to think of, oh. Wow, I was not expecting this. This is, a big stuff sack and I don't think I'm mad about it. I got a Magma 30 down trail quilt from REI. Now again, this was on sale and I just said to myself, okay, if you do like camping and you want to do it in the cooler months, this is on sale now and we're headed into the cool months here. So if I pass on it, I'm going to end up buying it. If I, if I pass on it now, like car camping, I'm going to end up buying one at full price. So I went ahead and bit the bullet. I need to look where that saying came from. Bit the bullet. Can't be good. And I bought this REI quilt get on sale and I'm so glad I did. I'm glad I didn't hesitate because when I went back just um, yesterday or the night before, not yesterday, yesterday was wedding, but the night before to just like look at this online, which might be like silly to people, but when I'm waiting for packages, I go visit them online. Anyway, they were all, they were out of this size and they only had like the long left. So, this is very interesting. I mean, because you're not so, anyway, you guys don't care. But yeah, so, oh, this is a lighter blue than what I thought. So I actually kind of like that. So it is a quilt, not a sleeping bag. So it's, you know, open on one side. Oh, this is a much different yellow than what I had pictured too. I was a little bit sad about getting the blue and yellow because I'm a Spartan fan, a Michigan State Spartan fan, not a U of M Wolverine fan. But these, 
these are not U of M colors. So wonderful. So yeah, this quilt goes to, is meant to go down to keep you warm down to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And so I'm just thrilled about it because not if my car camping adventures continue, but as they continue and get more adventurous, this is a quality item that I am just going to be able to keep and use for such a long time. And honestly, like if I were to lose power during the winter or something like that, I would honestly be very thankful for some of this stuff. Oh, so is this like a small stuff sack for like when I'm traveling and this is for keeping it? Cause you know, you're not supposed to keep things in the stuff sacks. Um, it like ruins them if you keep them too tightly bound. I guess I'll have to read and see, but I do think I guess I do think, I did think it was coming something like this, but anyway, so this is for packing it away. Oh, and this is for keeping it nice. Thank you, REI. This is very thoughtful to have these two. Oh, way to go. Um, yeah, if you watch Miranda in the Wild, you know that keeping things like your sleeping bags stuffed into their stuff sacks are actually not good for the longevity of the product. So it's funny that I know this stuff without having ever owned the stuff, right? <laughs> um, but yay, I am so excited for this. I actually was looking for a quilt thing when I found this on sale, the ruffle blanket. And I bought this just before the Labor Day sale at REI went live. And so when I went back for the Labor Day sale, <laughs> lo and behold, I actually found what I was looking for at a reasonable price. Oh, I love you, REI. I love you. All right. One last thing to unbox. I have made an absolute mess of my living room. <laughs> I'm sure to the surprise of no one. One last item is this comma mat. I think it's comma mat. I looked up, they say how to say it on their website. Funnily enough, the week that I posted about like what camping gear do I need, uh, She Roams Wild posted a video about her beloved and trusted uh, camping gear items. So this item was listed as like a luxury item and not a necessity, but I love luxury and comfort. So I got it. <laughs> so this is the comma. Um, uh, I went to the website. This is a mat to put on the ground. When I went to the website, it is a small company that looks to be doing or trying to do the right things. And so, even though it's definitely not needed, it touched me. And they wrote a little note. May it be a platform of aliveness for your many rad adventures. Thank you for shopping small. That's cute. And then it has care instructions on how to fold. Because this mat packs up so neatly, but you go like this. And then it becomes a mat that you can step on. And it's meant to get dirty. It has like marine grade material inside and then this heavy canvas like. And like She Roams Wild mentions this is what she kind of steps on to get in and out of her car. Keep her feet, like keep her shoes on and keep her feet clean. I 
forget to help myself. Also, when I looked at this color, it talked about like being home in unfamiliar places. And I just thought, yes, like bring me home, like symbolize home no matter where I am. And symbolize like comfort, security. I'm excited to take this out and use it. Here it is on my floor. Ooh, cozy. Ignore the <laughs> cardboard shavings from my cat's scratcher. Yes. And also I just think like it'll be a cozy place to sit and keep my butt dry because I do love sitting on the ground floor, whatever. Home, wherever I am. That's what this mat is. I'm excited for it. I actually just peeked one last thing. This was not delivered to me. These shoes. <laughs> I actually bought these at an outlet mall. My friend and I went to uh, this past week. These will double at home for when I need to just slip on shoes and run out to the mail or to deal with trash or run out to my car quickly. But also as camp shoes that I can easily just slide on and off with or without socks. It's really hard for me to just slide on tennis shoe like shoes with no socks on even for a second. And the sandals that I have, they're Velcros, so I, and I need to go strap around my ankle. So I have nothing that's like <laughs> quick release. So I got these, I found these at the Merrill outlet. I think they're, I think they're cute, but like possibly grandma cute and that's okay. <laughs> but I'm excited to be able to throw these on easily uh, and get around camp as I need to. I feel like that's a lot. That's a lot of recent deliveries. I appreciate it whenever you stop by. I really enjoy having you here and I will see you again soon.